What's up? It's Time Web Zing. How you doing? Introduce yourself. I'm Aaron. I sing in the band Bane. Nate. I'm Nate, and I sometimes play drums in the band Bane. <laughs> and maybe your other bands. And I play guitar and cool. all the members in Bane right now that were in the band since the beginning? Since the beginning? There's three of us. Three. Me, Aaron Dahlbeck, the boy on the bed, <laughs> all the way against the wall, if you want to peek in there. The boy with no shirt on, that's Zach. <laughs> <laughs> They've been in it from the start. Sweet. Yeah. So how many albums did you guys already release? Um, what did we do? We did three real records like full length LPs and we did a bunch of seven inches and some splits. Right? Yeah, right. Three records. It all comes down to this, give blood in the note. And then holding this moment is some seven inches and like last year we put out a couple seven inches and we did like a split with Adamantium. We did a split for fanzine last year. So we did some other stuff out of here. Yes, so, um who are like the people that help you guys out on this tour? Like, on this tour? Yeah, the, There's so many. To do a tour like this, so many people have to come together. Yeah. I know that Key from the Geeks has really been a big part of coordinating this and yeah. helping us out. Yeah. Riz in Hong Kong from <laughs> King Lee Chi. Yeah. yeah, ill dude. He really helped out a lot. Yeah. Um, and then the people we were with yesterday from Singapore and Kenneth, Malaysia, Malaysia, those guys were Malaysia. awesome. They took really good care of us. Our friend um, Paul. Oh, oh, yeah, Paul Hong. Paul Hong from Beijing was great. I mean, this is a lot of people coming together for sure. But if we have to really like blame it on anyone, it would be Key from the Geeks. He really, really yeah, lost his ass. Really he's the guy, if we have a problem, we call and he fixes it. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, yeah good. we're excited to hang out with him in a couple days. Yeah. Uh, are there any members in Bane that play in other bands? None. It's not allowed. Oh, it's not allowed? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. They're all in other bands. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, you're in Cruel Hand. Cool Hand. Aaron Dahlbeck, the guitar player, plays in a band called Only Crime. Only Crime. Yeah. Zach was in a band called Silent Drive for a long time. They might get going again one of these days. Uh, yes. Yeah. Stu's got nothing. Cruel Hand. Cool Hand. And fill in for drums on any band that needs them, really. Stu's got a couple bands when he's drunk. Yeah. Then he'll start up. If Stu gets drunk, he'll probably start a band with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> he's got bands all over. <laughs> I got three bands in them already. <laughs> okay, so um, how'd you guys manage to stay, to stay around for so long? Man? We're too dumb to quit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it from the other room. That's so good. <laughs> I think I, I think about it sometimes, I think one of the things is that we never took Bane and went full time with it. We always take really long breaks between tours. So we keep our lives sort of at opposite, at odds with each other. We have our home life, which is important to us. And when we're at home, it keeps us excited to go on tour. But when we're on tour, we know we have a home life to go home to. We're going to be able to take time away from each other. We're never like together so much that we want to kill each other. We get really close, but then the tour ends and we get to go home and take a break. I think that's a big part of it, is that we never took it like a job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the other thing is, is I just think, somehow we all stayed really young at heart. No, you know, the, the heart of the band still never stopped loving hardcore, never stopped loving this life that a lot of people when they get to be our age will grow out of, which is completely normal and understandable and expected, but somehow the, th the three of us just stayed stunted and stayed 20 years old at heart. So we're still so excited by this, you know, we still love it. So keep enjoying it? Stay young at heart. I, maybe, for us, I think that's a part of it. Yeah, Dilly may have a different answer. I've always wondered what he thought, because he's really the guy who started this band. It was his Okay, so idea. brainchild. I like, just well, how managed do we do to stay here around for so long. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just answer. I feel like it's, it's a crazy coincidence that we're all just three big kids. 
and now like we got Stu who's the same way. I mean, he's just a kid anyway, so he doesn't yeah, even He's count. literally just a kid. <laughs> like Stu from Meet the Sky fit perfectly because he was sort of the same way as yeah, us. Yeah. Like we just still get psyched on hardcore. We get psyched on 200 kids getting sweaty and going crazy. And if we're home too long, we start to miss it. And that's how it works, really. We didn't expect things to last this long. The years just went by so fast that we can't believe it. Like, we'd be like, how did this happen? I still feel like we're like a young band. We still get excited that people like our band, you know? And we never became like this old, like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> like yesterday, we played a show in Singapore and there was, you know, 150 kids going crazy and we were like, it was like our third show ever, you know? We were completely psyched all night long. 